Hi everyone. Today I'm going to give you an overview of Dynamics 365 for oil and gas. So there's a couple of trends we're really seeing in the market at the moment. Extremely volatile with uh, everything going on in Ukraine and Russia right now. The supply chain issues that we're seeing. We have uh, moving targets with legislation in terms of pipelines being allowed versus not allowed and permits being granted for federal land and not allowed, things like that. So moving targets there, volatile market and you know balancing the supply of demand. I think we're seeing some increased pricing right now because of the low supply. So these are big trends that we're seeing right now. And what we've done here is try to understand and, and empathize with you guys and think how we can help with those things, not just now, but enable you to be more strategic in the future moving forward. So why Microsoft? Well, you know, there is a thing that we used to call digital transformation, where you need to embrace new technology to help you move forward in, 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 into the 21st century. Well, we're calling this now the digital imperative. Now, what we're seeing is if you're not looking into modernization, you're going to fall behind. Connected solutions. Most organizations today are using Microsoft technology, whether that be Teams, Office 365, Azure, etc. We know that organizations are, have a wide array of vendors of other technologies, SAP, Salesforce, what you name it. There are lots of different applications that you can use. Microsoft have, connect, have connected business applications for all of your business needs. So, and the best thing about Microsoft business applications is that we play really nice with third party applications because we believe that unless your organization can harness all of your data, you're not going to be able to make the best possible business decisions. So I want to talk to you today at a very high level about how Microsoft is uniquely positioned to help you transform your business. So let's take a look at oil and gas. So obviously, we totally understand upstream, midstream, downstream. But what I've tried to do is you know, use some empathy and try and figure out how we can help you from end to end. Microsoft, as you may be aware, that we, we are on a mission to empower every organization on the planet to achieve more. And to do this, we have a distinct set of business applications to allow that. So I put some thought into your business in particular and, you know, put some ideas around it. So connecting all of your information and using that data and leveraging your data and augmenting that data. So what do I mean by that? Well, um, if you think about it, you've got a bunch of scientific data that you're using during your exploration phase, right? So you're looking where you're going to drill, how you're going to drill, who's going to drill, where to drill, etc. right? What about if you could couple your scientific data with the historical data that you've collected throughout the years? Where we drill, where was it successful, where is it not successful? What were the trends that we saw, right? And how can we put a level of AI on top of that and machine learning to figure out where's the best place to, to mine? Where's the best place to do these things, right? How well, how much did we get out of that well versus their expectations? Right, putting historical data, coupling it together with your scientific data, it could help you during exploration. And I'll talk more about that later. IoT, the Internet of Things. So proactively fixing your oil wells before they break. We know how much it costs when you're offline and, and, and how much money you could potentially save if we can prevent your oil derricks going offline, for example, to prevent pipelines being out of action, to prevent pipes bursting, right? For even bigger problems. So with IoT, we can put sensors on things. It's called Azure IoT. And we can actually connect those systems and figure out, oh, it looks like, you know, the wear and tear on this particular part is wearing a bit more than historical trends. You should probably fix that part within the next two to three weeks. If you go out there and proactively fix it ahead of, you know, a, a scheduled maintenance, you're going to save time because you're not going to be out of action on that particular piece of, of, of technology. Just examples of things that we can do, but we have Azure IoT that can help you with that. 
Transportation. So again, leveraging AI and machine learning to schedule your pipes, right? Build user interfaces that your customers can interact with as opposed to calling a hotline, hey, I need more gas or hey, slow down. On, you know, I want to change my nomination or schedule some different uh, products to come, right? Having user interfaces that can show them in real time the data, how's production doing, et cetera, and let customers interact with that. If, uh, you know, taking that as a step further, right, if you were gaining insight into where your truck is in real time, right, let's say you, you're expecting a truck coming from Canada down to Texas, well, we could see the GPS location of that truck and share using your historical data points, right, traffic and how long it typically takes, the up-to-date expectation for when that shipment will arrive. Connected marketing. So what this, what we can allow you to do leveraging Microsoft technologies is manage your marketing intensity based on everything we've spoken about, right? So if we're expecting the supply and exploration success to be successful, we can use some AI models to figure out, you know, we're going to get production coming in pretty soon and stuff's on the way. We need to start ramping up marketing to shift this product that we're creating. So you can adjust, and modify your marketing intensity based on what's coming down the pipe. Quote. <laughs> All right. So just thinking out of, outside of the out of the out of the box here, right? Pulling all of your data together, putting it into one uniform system, and connecting all your business solutions together can enable you to be and to make smarter decisions. To carry on from that, right? Be nimble and adapt to change. That's all that we're asking, right? And we're, we're asking to try and help you with that, right? So build business applications that work. Allow your end users to create applications. They're the ones that know what needs to be done. You know, you can actually uh, allow your end users to build what are called power apps. And they can go in, build the app in a common user interface connect those to the existing business systems, pull data in from existing business systems and push data around your organization as necessary. We do allow you as an organization to put governance on top of that. Connect all your data. Seamlessly integrate all of your business systems. We have a product called Power Automate, and I'll talk more about this, that allows you to connect using out-of-the-box data connectors, all of your data into one conglomerated system so that you have all your inputs and outputs from all of your business. So think of it as your source of the truth that allows you to make better business decisions across the board. You can automate laborious business processes. So if there's something that somebody's coming in and clicking a button every day based on something that's happening, we can automate that again using Power Automate to save that. Right? We can create robots to automate repetitive tasks. Maybe if you want to have a, 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 a system that goes out and looks at when the crude price gets to a certain threshold, at that point, we'll sell it and then buy some other commodity, right? Based on what the fluctuations are looking at, we can actually build a robot that will automate that for you and go out and actually buy and move it and do whatever needs to be done internally, seek any approvals, etc. So... Microsoft Dynamics 365, you can see it's all encompassing. We have products for pretty much everything out of the box. So for sales, for your CRM stuff, marketing, talking to your customers, customer service, somebody calls up with a complaint, let's track that. And let's cross reference that with any marketing outreach that we've sent to them and any sales order they, they've had. Field service this is what I was talking about, about monitoring where your trucks are, sending out trucks to fix your parts. Whatever needs to be done in the field, we can actually automate that using connected field service. Figuring out when your next available agent is going to be available, who's closest, what parts they have on their truck, etc. Human resources, figuring out what staff you need and, and how and how we're going to see industry trends in terms of we're going to need more oil field engineers coming down the line because we're almost done with our exploration phase and we're going to see a lot of new leases coming down the pipe. Supply chain management, remote assist, 
you may have seen Chevron have actually been using, leveraging remote assist for uh, their engineers out in the field. They put on one of our HoloLens systems and actually have somebody help them do things in the field. This was really powerful during COVID when you know we had limited people being allowed on site. Remote assist really helped Chevron with that. I could go on and on about the different products that we have. That's not why I'm here to talk to you about, but just know that we have this big connected system of products and suite of products that allow you to have all of your business systems interconnected. Now I did say we connect and play friendly with other products as well, didn't I? Let's talk about that. So the power platform, it underpins all of Dynamics as well as all of the other products within the Microsoft suite. So we have Power BI that allows you to do reporting across your entire business, not only Dynamics data, but your scientific data, data stored in SQL database somewhere, data stored in third parties. We can pull data together, leveraging Power BI and build out dashboards and reports to give you the insights that you need. Power apps, as I mentioned earlier, you can build out a power app that will allow you to automate an, any business process, allow your end users to access information and update things on the fly, right? Like maybe you want to build a power app that your customers can interact with. That's also possible. Maybe they want to order more products. Give them an app on their phone that they can interact with your business systems that you granted them access to. Power Automate. Again, we can build robots. We can automate laborious business processes, things like that. Power Virtual Agents. If you want people to be able to interface with your data, leveraging a virtual agent, you know, I could call it a chatbot, right? But leveraging all of your business data, customers can actually send a message. Hey, when is my truck scheduled to arrive? Please, can you confirm that this is your customer number? Yep, here it is. All right, well, your truck is currently in Tulsa, Oklahoma. On, based on historical trends, it should arrive by Monday between 6 and 12 p.m., something like that. Really, really cool stuff. The Power Platform, coupled with Microsoft Dynamics 365, coupled with all of your other business data integrated with Power Automate, sets us apart from the competition. And not only us, leveraging some of these different areas will set you apart from your competition because you have access to all of your business systems. Here's a couple of customers that have actually leveraged Power Apps as well as Power, uh, sorry, Dynamics 365. Slumberjay, as I, said, as I said earlier, Chevron is also another one. I'd be happy to share some more case studies, but I'll share these slides with you. Take a look at some of these customer stories. It's incredible what our customers are able to do. Thank you very much for your time today. I hope you appreciate uh, some of this information and uh, you know, please reach out if you have any further questions.